Hello everyone, this is CHM301, Atomic and Molecular Structure and Bonding, Workshop Lecture 3, which is on calculation of energy density in a black body. I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemichiowa, Electrophysical Chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Benway State University. This lecture is meant for my students here at the Benway State University, third year students and other students worldwide who are interested in some of the questions I tackle on this channel. If you have any questions or any comments, I would like to share them with me. You can do that by using either my university email or my Google email address. Alternatively, you can leave comments in the comment section of this video. Today's lecture is about calculation of energy density in a black body. So after the lecture, I expect you to be able to calculate the energy density in a black body. The question says, a hollow stainless steel ball is heated to 1,200 1, Kelvin. What is the energy density inside it? Due to radiation of wavelength range 600 to 605 nanometer. So our strategy is very simple. The energy density inside the ball, which represents our black body, is equal to the area under the energy distribution versus wavelength curve in the wavelength range given. So if we plot our energy density, uh, sorry, our energy distribution um, on the vertical axis and then the wavelength on the horizontal axis, we are likely to obtain a curve that looks like this. So this is the median um, wavelength about the middle, the highest, the peak, uh, if you like. What we are interested in is to calculate the area under this curve, so that we equate this area to the energy density in the ball. So to do that, we approximate this area by finding the product of the height of the curve at the median wavelength, which is this, and the width of the interval. Uh, which is the difference from uh, difference of 605 and 600. So using the Planck's distribution, which gives the energy density in the range lambda to d lambda, uh, this is Planck's distribution. And in this equation, pi um, has a value of 3.142. The Planck's constant h, uh, which is that is 6.626 to 6 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule second. The speed of light c is 2.998 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Uh, the Boltzmann's constant, uh, the case of b, is 1.381 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule per Kelvin. Uh, the median wavelength is uh, uh, 602.5 uh, nanometer, which we can write in terms of meter as 602.5 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter. And temperature, which is 1,200 uh, Kelvin. So we, to make our life uh, a bit easier, we substitute, we pick this value, we pick uh, this bit of the equation, h uh, times c all over lambda um, post mass constant times temperature. We evaluate it differently. So we substitute the value for h, value for speed of light, the median wavelength, the post mass constant, and then the temperature. And that gives 19.90. So to obtain the entire energy distribution, we substitute this uh, in here, 
and substitute the rest of the other variable of parameter, so to say. And this is 8, which is already there. This is pi. And this is h, um, which is this, and speed of light, which is that. And this is the median wavelength, um, raised to the power of 5. And this is exponential, this, and minus 1, which is that. The whole of this evaluates to uh, 0.143 to per meter uh, to the fourth part. So the energy density is the product of the energy distribution times the wavelength range. So the wavelength range is the difference uh, between 605 and 600, which gives 5, which we can approximate to, uh, which we can write in terms of meter as 5 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter. Uh, we simply substitute 10 to the power of 9 for 9. Uh, next, we substitute the energy distribution there and then the wavelength range here. That gives uh, 7.15 times 10 to the power of negative 10 to per meter cube as the energy density. So to test if you actually understood this lecture, there is a self-test question here. It says a whole of tennis tea ball radius 5 centimeter is heated to 3000 degrees C. What is the energy density and energy inside the ball due to radiation of wavelength range 700 to 750 nanometers? If you did this correctly, you should have the energy as 8.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4 joule per meter cube, then the energy as approximately 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 7 joule. Thanks for watching. Uh, the link to the PDF version of this lecture can be found in the video description. If you have any comments or any questions, you can leave them in the comment section of this video, and I'll do my best to attend to them. Alternatively, you can send comments to me through my university email address or my Google email address. Bye now.